All right, hey guys, so today I wanted to show you a very easy way to convert your excess backgrounds and emoticons that you get from crafting badges into gems, which you can then sell on the Steam Marketplace for a profit. What you first want to do is you want to download the Steam Inventory Helper Google Chrome extension. This will save you a lot of time in the long run. Then go back to Steam, go to your inventory, and search background or emoticon, whatever you're looking to sell. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of backgrounds that are borderline worthless. If you look in the bottom right, corner it says they're starting at three cents which means if i were to sell this i would only get one cent in return and uh volume traded only 14 sold in the last 24 hours there's literally hundreds of people trying to sell these backgrounds so uh, more than likely they wouldn't sell for weeks on end so it's much uh easier and more efficient to just um convert all of your excess backgrounds and emoticons into gems which you can sell more easily on the marketplace so i'm gonna go ahead and there's a bunch of buttons up top that steam inventory helper adds uh, you can click select all or you can just select them individually I'm just I'm just gonna select all of these backgrounds and I'm going to go through four pages of this which would be um, 100 backgrounds in total which will get me 1,000 gems which is what you're gonna need in order to sell them on the marketplace you need at least 1,000 gems so let's go ahead and turn these into gems and as you can see here they're all being loaded do you want to convert these items into gems it cannot be undone I'm just gonna click OK and there we go so now it's automatically converting all of these items into gems so quickly. It's so much more relaxing. I can even go and like watch a YouTube video or something and do something else while this is going on. And just know you can do the exact same thing with emoticons. Just search emoticons, select all the items that you don't want, and then convert them into gems. I also wanted to quickly mention that certain emoticons and backgrounds can be converted into uh, more than 10 gems. This background here can be converted into 80 gems. I'm not really sure how the value is calculated, but just keep that in mind that certain emoticons and backgrounds are worth a little bit more when you convert them into gems. Okay, so once you have over 1,000 gems, you can then pack them into a sack of gems, which is then sellable on the Steam Marketplace. All you need to do is click your gems in your inventory, click pack gems into sack, move the slider over, click OK, and then a sack of gems will appear in your inventory. Don't worry, you can always unpack these gems whenever you like. Um, in the bottom right corner, you can see how much they're currently being sold for. Uh, currently, they're at 86 cents. I can go to sell. 80 cents, 86 cents, I will receive 76 cents in Steam credit as profit. So uh, yeah, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. It's very easy to do. Uh, this is just a good way to get rid of all of your unwanted backgrounds and emoticons very easily and uh, get some value in return. I also just wanted to show you that you can use Steam Inventory Helper to help you sell bulk items. So here's a bunch of trading cards that I want to sell. I just click select all, sell 25 items. Do not convert trading cards into gems, it's never worth it. So sell 25 items. Um, and as you can see here on the left side of the screen, it shows the prices of each individual card. I just click accept, accept, accept. And at the bottom it says auto adjust prices by market. What it does automatically if you hit zero is it'll list your card um, at the same price as the lowest um, price that someone else is selling it for. So you're getting the best value at zero. If you want to sell, like if you want to undercut the lowest price and sell faster, you can change this to negative one. Or if you want more value out of each card, you can change this to like plus one or plus two, um, whatever you think. But I keep this at zero. And then I just click OK, put it up for sale, and it'll automatically do that for each one of the cards. And it makes it very easy to list a lot of items all at once. And then you would have to go to your phone and confirm each individual uh, transaction. All right, so that pretty much covers everything. I hope this all made sense to you guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to get to them. But uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.